I want to share with you a delicious and healthy recipe that involves using, well, soybeans, but in the form of edamame. Now, you've probably seen edamame in restaurants that look like this, but when taken out of the pod, they look like this, a delicious green bean. It's a form of soybeans. We're used to seeing soybeans dried like this, but edamame, well, it's harvested while it's fresh and green. All right, what we're going to make here is an edamame succotash. It's very simple. You're going to start with two cups of little cherry tomatoes cut in half, two cups of edamame. You can see the color is really beautiful. One cup of whole corn. I love it fresh right off the cob. And a fourth a cup of chopped red onion. Now for the spices, this really gives it a lot of lift. I'm going to take some cayenne pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt, then one teaspoon of cumin, and finish it off with two cloves or two teaspoons of minced garlic. There we go. Now all I'm going to do is fold this together. Look at these beautiful colors. You can see not only is it beautiful, but it's very healthy. Good for you. Then over medium heat, I'm going to take a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil, which by the way is made from soybeans. A couple of tablespoons is all you need there. And I'm going to let this get really nice and warm. And then I'm going to take the succotash and begin to saute it. So here we go. The oil is just about right. You can see there's a little sizzle. Now what I'm going to do is once all of the succotash is in here, I'm just going to simply keep this over the heat and stir it frequently for, oh, about two to three minutes. You want it thoroughly heated. You want all those lovely flavors to meld together. And then it's ready to serve. A healthy side dish. It's that simple. This recipe is brought to you by the Soybean Farmers of Arkansas.